What's happening, fellow Walking Dead fans? Solid Dave Snake here, bringing you a review on the Walking Dead TV Series 8 action figures by McFarlane Toys, Target exclusive Tyrese action figure. And yes, this Tyrese is an exclusive to Target, just like Herschel in the last series, so good luck trying to find them. Out of all the exclusives of different stores that have gotten these Walking Dead action figures, I'd have to say Target handles them the worst. I have never seen Tyrese in a Target or the previous exclusive Herschel in a Target. Haven't seen either of them in any Target around the country that I've been to and have had to get both of them online. So I really hope McFarlane Toys drops Target from their exclusives because it's just a pain in the rear end. So good luck trying to find them in store. You may have to get them offline like me. And I could uh, rant on for a while about how much I hate Target getting these exclusives, but let's just dive right into this review. And this Tyrese is based on his final look from Season 5, Episode 9. The episode, What Happened and What's Going On. And I find it a very fitting final figure of Tyrese to get. I really liked how um, they added in the gory arm action feature with this action figure that we will get into here in a bit. But overall, it is a reuse of the previous TV Series 5 Tyrese mold. Just a different paint job and some different accessories as well as a added arm feature, removable arm, which I will show. And I don't know why my camera is going crazy into focus here. Alright, there we go. So, as you can see, they are basically the same. Except for his left arm and a different paint job with the shirt. Different colored shirt. Since in the episode he was wearing this dark blue shirt. But it looked uh, a lot similar, the style of it. So, it works and I don't really mind them reusing this mold and I hope these old molds of the way they had the hip and leg articulation, I hope they're about done reusing these now. I hope we only get figures that have that updated leg articulation. So let's get right into this new one, into his accessories, which he only comes with two. And one is this little geode, which I'll pull up close here. Try to get a focus on it. It's pretty tiny. There we go. And this is the weapon that he used to kill the second walker that bit him when he when he was in Noah's little brother's room. Noah killed the first walker that bit him was which was actually one of Noah's little brothers and then he used this mineral rock to kill the other one, this geode. And you can see a little bit of the mineral, purple mineral coming through. And on the other side, there is no mineral coming through at all. It's all rock on that end. And it's almost shaped like a shark's tooth. But pretty neat little accessory and very fitting for his final time on the show. And of course, what would Tyrese be without his hammer? And this is the exact same hammer that came with the Series 5 Tyrese. However, they did add blood splatter on it. So that was a nice little touch, since they were going to reuse the same accessory. And of course it fits right in there on that loop. So, it's nice you have a spot to keep it. And now for his action feature, which before I show it, I'll give you a good look at his arm up close first. So this whole arm is a completely new mold and does have the two bite marks that he got in that episode and it's very simple to remove it it's just on a peg and they even have nice gory detail on the stump and try to make the peg look a little bit like a bone so that was a nice touch and of course there's a lot of gore detail inside there as well and this arm is just soaked in blood, which I really like how they gave this figure that effect of being, being blood soaked on his left hand side where he got the wound. Because as you recall in that episode, he was blood saturated. 
So really cool feature, nice detail on this new arm piece. And now let's just take a look at Tyrese from head to toe with his new severed arm. And I don't know how well it's going to come off on camera since his shirt is so dark, but there is a nice layer of blood on this whole entire side of his body running down, just like it was in that episode. You can notice it pretty easily on that pouch <clears throat> right here on his crotch. On the shirt, it's a little harder to notice. But I really like how they did that. And like I said, this sculpt is pretty much exactly the same. There's nothing new here, minus that left arm. But let's get an up-close look at the face. And it's the exact same head sculpt, of course. But I think mine is painted a little better on this new one than the old one. <clears throat> it looks a little bit more like Chad Coleman with the way they painted this one. So I do like that. And of course, I do like the whole harness around his body here. All the detail on the pouches going around his belt. And the one thing that I really did not like about the Tyrese when he first came out in Series 5 is his crotch piece almost looks like a big diaper. The way they articulated him here and sculpted it, I really thought that part of him was an eyesore. But sadly, Tyrese is off the show, so we probably will not get another figure of him. And that blood continues all the way down the legs. I really like that touch. In articulation, he is the exact same as his Series 5 counterpart. Head on a ball joint, which will rotate all the way around. Look that far down and that far up. And get a little tilt movement out of it. Ball joint and a hinge on the shoulders. Which won't go up to 90 degrees, but will rotate all the way around. Same thing at the elbows, which will go completely straight and up to 90 degrees and rotate all the way around. And then he has the cut right here at the wrist, which you can pinch and twist his hand. And then his hand is on a peg and a hinge, which you can get full rotation out of as well and hinge up and down. And of course, you get no articulation on this side with the way his action feature is. Even when you attach his hand there's no articulation there. I guess you could rotate the peg right here if you really wanted. But he does have a cut at the waist which you can get rotation out of but you don't want to spin it all the way around or else this pouch will catch this loop here and rip it off. So be careful for that. The old style here at the uh, upper legs with just a ball joint, so very limited there. And then we have the ball joint and hinge at the knees, which will go up to 90 degrees and back straight. Rotate all the way around and just a cut at both feet, which you can get to rotate all the way around on both of them. So, all in all, not a must-have if you're not a completist. But if you're a big Tyrese fan or a completist, this is a must pick up. But like I said, good luck trying to find it in store. I hate Target having these exclusives. I really hope McFarlane drops them soon. But all in all, pretty cool figure. And I will catch you all later for the Terminus Carol review.